Hey Sagittarius, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is your reading. This could be your reading if you're guided here for another reason. You could be a cross watcher, you could just be guided by the title, or for whatever reason you're here, so welcome. Even after I click off the camera, I could still come back on with messages for whoever they're for, or they could be about the reading or not. They could be about something totally unrelated. This just happens randomly. I never know when it's going to happen. Also, if you don't know what this reading is, pay even closer attention. It could be something coming up. All right, let's do it for the last two weeks of October or whenever anyone is guided. You got the star. All right, star's a good one. You got the house. You're the first this month to get the house this week, I should say. You've got the mountain. Okay, so you've got the star, the house, and the mountain. All right, let's talk about it. So there's something you really want. It could be a house. It could be a move. It could be something about your relationship, your family, anything. But there's a block in place, the mountain, or there's something that's blocking your view of something. There's something going on here. I'm so sorry. This was Urban Oracle, Lenormand Oracle. We are also using the Vice Versa Tarot. I'm going to show you these. So whatever side I read or I see will be the side I read. So when it hits the table, whatever side we see will be the side I read. It's a different perspective on each side of the cards. We have the wheel of the year and we're gonna go all the way into the after tarot because this is a two week reading and the after tarot will show us next step energy after the whole reading's done. All right, let's do it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. This reading is for Sagittarius or anyone else who's guided to see the Sagittarius reading for whatever reason they're here. Okay, we've got the Three of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. Let me put that one up there. What else do we need to know? Now that Three of Wands is manifesting in what they want, the star. Let's And look, oh, this is really crazy. All right, well, we'll talk about that in a minute. Can I get one more card here, please? Okay, yeah. Excellent. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, we're going to talk. So we know that you want something, and there seems to be a block in place. It, it's something about your foundation, your home, your family, your house itself, where you're moving, anything like this. The two of wands right there is trying to figure out which path to go down. Which path am I going to take? Could it be a move? It could be. Could it be a job? It could be. Look eight of pentacles this also could be working on your home your family your foundation right it doesn't have to be about a physical job that you go to but look at the six of pentacles this is why i said yes exactly because right after i said for some of you you're looking for a home or something like that this person see how they're looking at this village and they're like i don't fit in here like i just don't fit in here this person feels like they want to go down a different path of some kind, whether it be at work, whether it be at home, whatever it is, because it could be different for each of you. Smack dab in the middle, we have the Queen of Swords, and she's got her back turned. She's iced something out. She's looking. Now, if you look closely like this, I feel like this is probably your very own energy because she's got her back turned to something she's not paying any attention to. And this magician is manifesting in their star what they want. So uh, this is the three of wands, but see how they're dressed as the magician, their wands on fire, they're levitating a yin yang sphere. They are trying to find this balance and manifest in something they want where they will fit in. Because again, you know, this magician is balancing that yin yang sphere. And in the six of pentacles, this person's trying to find balance. Right next to, I don't fit in here, I don't really like it here, I will, you know, whatever the situation is, you've got the Five of Swords and you've got the Six of Cups. Both of these are on the non-traditional side where we've got this person has already, you know, walked away. Remember, Queen of Swords has iced something out. I feel like this is, you're turning your back on something. You're looking back at something or you're looking at some kind of growth see how these trees down here this person is looking back like this isn't the soulmate side of the six of cups this is the part where we look at something we look at the growth we look at the trees we look at what we've planted the seeds we planted 
I feel like you're just not happy where you are or with whatever you're doing, whether it be home, family, work, whatever it is. Let's find out. But you're looking for and manifesting in a whole new path here. Let's find out. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know? Sagittarius reading. What are the messages? Sagittarius reading for anyone who's guided. What do we need to know about it? What are the messages? Some of you might feel like you're not being treated correctly in whatever. Um, for most of you, that would be the work situation. If you were, at, you know, at a job or something that you really just, you don't like. How, maybe even at home, you don't like how you're being treated. It's possible. What do we need to know? What are the messages? What do we need to know? What are the messages? All right, let's take a look at the Queen of Swords reversed. What about the Queen of Swords reversed? Yeah, we've got the Emperor reversed and the Two of Wands reversed. Remember, this person is trying to figure out which path to go down. And over here, we got the Emperor reversed and the Two of Wands reversed. So we know it's not that way. So she's um, she has iced out this person. Now, could it be vice versa? Sure, absolutely. She, he, they on everything. She, he, they. All right, so I'm just reading pictures. So if I say she or he, whatever works for you. But somebody, it looks to me like somebody is literally iced someone out. Could this be a boss? Yep, absolutely. A business partner? Yep, doesn't have to be love. That's for sure. All right, let's move on. So there, and there actually could be a new opportunity. Because see how this person, this person's getting a new opportunity or a new offer coming in. And that's why they're considering going down a new path. It's possible for some of you that that's what's going on. Let's look at the three of wands. No, let's look at the eight of pentacles. What about the eight of pentacles? Ten of, uh, no, I don't know why I call this the ten of cups. <laughs> it is clearly the death card. I don't know why I call it the ten of cups reversed is what I was going to say. Death card reversed. So this makes me feel because of what I just said, that it's possible you've been feeling unhappy in whatever you're doing. Like, I'm I'm working, whether this be at home or whether this be in my family or relationship or whether it be at an actual job or business. I'm not, I feel stuck here, whatever this is. The death card reverse for me is someone who's, who can't move forward. Like, I feel stuck. I Look at the strength card, how it's like a struggle, right? I feel like somebody's been struggling, maybe even to get some finances ba uh, balanced out. So if this isn't about trying to f balance out where you're going and what you're doing, you're getting a lot of repeat cards here. It could be about, you know, I feel like I'm never going to get ahead here. I'm stuck at this per this particular salary and or at this particular job and my boss isn't budging and I'm not getting what I deserve. I'm not being treated correctly, right? So let's take a look at it. I want to look at the Six of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. We're going to look at them just together the way they are. Tell me about this particular Five of Swords and Six of Pentacles. What do we need to know? So we've got something going on here where somebody's actually not fitting in and walking away from something. Yeah, I'm not finding what I want here. Three of Swords and the Nine of Cups reverse. This is disappointment. I am disappointed about what has gone on in this situation. This is somebody who's really just had it. This is why they've iced it out. This is why they're leaving. They feel like it's never, ever going to get better here. All right, let's look at the three of wands. Why is the three of wands here? Somebody's manifesting in something better. Strength card. Again, what am I pulling in? Balance. Someone's definitely, you know, working. This is someone who's working hard to to get balance in my life. Remember, this was part of the problem. I couldn't find a place of balance here. So this is why someone's manifesting in something new. All right, let's look at the Six of Cups. Tell me about the Six of Cups. This is also a non-traditional Six of Cups. What about it? What do we need to know? Two of Pentacles reverse. This is a decision someone has to make. Look at the bottom. I want you to see what's going on at the bottom. Yeah, look. Oh my God. Oh my, there's so much. I can't keep going. But the three of wands is back there too. Somebody who's manifest. Let's pull it. All right, we're going to pull it. Hermit's back there. I mean, I could go on and on here. The hermit is trying to figure something out, trying to get to the bottom of something. The six of cups is reflecting back on something, reflecting on 
the growth. Maybe look how small the trees are. This person's like, I don't see enough growth for all the work and effort I've put into this situation. And I want something where I get paid six of pentacles, which came out twice balance with justice here, three of wands. I'm manifesting in what I want to get paid or what I want to see blossom in a situation where there's been all this disappointment. I'm just not getting my fair shake here. Now, the reason I pulled all of these out is because, you know, the two of pentacles came right out of the deck in this situation. We've got the five of pentacles where someone feels like they are not getting their just desserts here in a work situation, three of pentacles. And we've got this three of wands here. Remember the three of wands is why we're ma we're manifesting in balance. And look at the two of swords. It's right there. I'm making a decision two cards of decision that's why i pulled these bottom cards but then i saw behind it the work card of the three of pentacles again and the three of wands again another repeat card lots of repeats in this little reading but there's something here about i'm making this decision about my craft whatever your craft is that you have felt has been at a standstill or stuck when we talk about work you can even be working on your home your family that way if it's not a traditional job there's a decision here about someone's reflecting i'm reflecting on this i'm noticing that i'm really not getting my just desserts here there's something i really want that i am calling in and that is number one balance it's something about balance now it could be in your finances or it just could be in your um just you know you want to feel like you fit in remember this person feels that like they don't fit in and they feel absolutely disappointed and they feel like they're not being treated fairly. So no matter how I look at this, whether it's love or, or finance or business, there's somebody here who wants to manifest in something different, more balanced, maybe even financially balanced in a situation where they are not getting their kudos because they're crap. They work really hard at their craft. I can see that. We've got the strength card where you see someone really work in it. You know, and this could be really, I'm really working on manifesting too, but somebody's really working hard and they feel like it's at a dead end. I'm stuck here. So this decision making has everything to do with not feeling like you're getting what you deserve. I'm making a decision. Somebody Let's got... pull you in some after tarot and see where this goes. This, and again, you know, the, the mountain is the block where you feel completely at a standstill, feeling like you're not achieving what you want, but there's a wish you have, something you want. And remember, at the bottom here, that hermit's right there. And what's the hermit always looking for? The star. He's always got the star in his lantern. And if you look closely, you can't see it in this one. You can't see it in this one, but usually the hermit's got it, the star in their lantern looking for it. This was reversed, by the way. So um, this is really somebody who's discovering that they want something and that something they want is blocked by being stuck in some, it almost feels like somebody's stuck in a dead end job. That's what I feel. Or it could be a dead end relationship or something else. It could be anything really. So, you know, when you're, when you're looking at these readings, what is it that you feel stuck in? What is it that you feel at a dead end with? Because thousands of people are going to watch this reading and I'm sure it's going to be much different for each of you. All right, let's take a look here. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. What do we need to know? What are the messages? what's next this is next energy so after all this where does this go next two of cups so this could be a new partnership coming in yeah absolutely so somebody look you could be stressed about this or worried about it and you know it could be really but see how this person fights that worry this could be that you're dumping this cup out and taking on another partnership. Now, what is a partnership? It could be working for a new company, working for a new boss, having a new relationship even. Um, at the bottom of your deck, you've got the temperance and the world. Absolutely. And there's that six of cups again back there. And see how they're leaving the past behind? They're leaving something behind them. All right. Now, look at what was at the bottom. 
the world and temperance. So this has to do with going into a brand new cycle when the timing's right. Like when you're ready to go in, it's ready for you. There's something here, or you could even be waiting for some kind of news or information to come in. Really what I saw was someone who was realizing, I'm not going to get ahead here. I've got, there's a block put in place and that block is strong. It's death reverse mountain. And I'm never going to fit in here. There's nothing but disappointment. And I feel even like I'm really not treated fairly here. And I want something better than that. I want to go to a village where I do fit in. And I'm looking for that. I'm looking to where, you know, and this is all metaphorical, of course. You might live in the city. It's not a village. But, you know, whatever. But <laughs> we've got here, you know, divine timing. We've got the world. And what is temperance about? It's about that balance, the balance you've been seeking. If it's your reading, come and if even if it's not your reading, say hello, comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys always. This is your card, Sagittarius. This is your reading. Better things are out there for you. You just got to call them in, look for them. I can see you're trying to get to them. Knock down that block. I think you will because this energy right here shows you getting past that block that was put in place. The block sometimes is our own mind. It is, but what if, but if, what if, what if, what if, and then we never do. And then when we don't do, we never find out that we could have had a brand new cycle. We could have been in a brand new job. We could have put that resume out, put that resume out today, you know, make yourself take that leap. Anyway, good luck, you guys. Please don't forget to hit the like. You could get bonus readings. You could get these weekly, these two week readings. Not everyone gets them, but Sagittarius always does. Thank you guys for hitting the like to this channel helping it grow. It is so appreciated. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.